Awesome. What's good? How are you doing? Yeah, Pila. This is the Denny J Show. And the crowd goes wild. Denny, Denny. Becky. Becky. Uh, nice. Becky. Thank you. Becky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you do, Denny? What's up, Becky Kate? I'm good. You're looking fresh. Try it, man. How many, yeah. how many years did I take off? You took off like five. Oh, shit. Okay, that's, that's yeah. not bad. What were you going for? Eight. Mm, five. Yeah, five. You is knocked good. off five. Five is still good. Five is still good. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mm-hmm. like the whole. Uh, the look is kind of fresh, though. I, I gotta mean, give it to you. Yeah, as fresh as my t-shirt last week. I know that oh, one was dope. That one was dope. Was that fresher. one was dope. This is just fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah this fr- is this is. This I also is sometimes just do fresh. You just do. Mm. Yes, you did fresh very well. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what's happening? No, all things are good. I'm just really excited about this episode. Yeah, it's like um, I'm really, really it's like excited. Uh, like a Matebele and uh, reunion type thing. And oh, man. Don't speak Ndebele. We'll try not to. Okay, we'll you can speak a little. Can yeah, speak we will. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. Zombie, you're not using Ndebele. Hi, how are you? Mm-mm. I heard what you said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Um, as per usual, a uh, big thank you to all of those who are tuned in, following us, subscribing, and sending throughout all those comments. Uh, there was actually one long comment from one guy who says, I know probably you won't read this message, but... Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Yes, and I was like, no, we read every message. Mm-hmm. We read every message. People yeah. loved the Hitman, yes. and I, I think they liked your, your intro more. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. And you know yeah. what? We did that. You know, like, when we do these shows, um, the literal that we get from YouTube... Uh, in terms of monetization, covers our production cost. Yeah, yeah. But with regards to that interview, we made sure uh, that... Because, uh, you know, the minute you put somebody's work on there, like that song, Take Me Away, it's from a group called Two in a Room. Yeah. So immediately, YouTube will flag it. So we knew they were going to flag it, and then we are going to make nothing from that video. But what was important was to get the Hitman story properly. Yes, and we are glad that we managed to get the Hitman story because a lot of people were like, oh... So this is the help that he needs. Yeah. And then we had a few people who were worried about him. Yes, yes. Yes, they were but like, yeah. mm, and it's like, <sighs> yeah, it's sensei. just it's just extra. He's extra. He's very passionate about stuff. Yes. Speaking of our passion, this uh, our guest today is also very passionate about music, about mm. her brand. Yes, it's mm-hmm. a she. Girl mm-hmm. power. Um, okay, so she was born uh, in Bulawayo on the 3rd of January, 1982, and um, did most of her schooling, uh, well, her, her, okay, most of her growing up mm-hmm. in Bulawayo. And when we were kids, like in um, primary into high school. What is, what is that? Is that my private jet arriving? That's your private jet arriving. Yes. That is okay. your private jet, right. sir. Are you, are you going to be on time? Are you gonna yeah, be on time? <laughs> uh, So growing up, primary school uh, and in high school also, at every talent show, when it was like the culture section, everyone or every young girl would yep. want to dress like her. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Every young girl was like, no, I'm the one. No, no, hear me. No, hear me. Right? Um, and then she would dance with this big smile right. on her face, mm-hmm. such that even at parties, they'll be like, look, look, sing in Django. And you would know exactly who they're imitating <laughs> right. before yes. they did it. Right. And I, I used to use that um, as one of my party gimmicks, you know, just to get people to look my direction. Right. They'll be like, Becky, Becky, also hands. And I'll be mm. like, yeah. It's my time to shine. <laughs> um, so she sings Afropop music. 
Right. And uh, she's managed to change the face of her music drastically. And not just the face of her music. She's got eight albums to her name. Up the ladder, no matter what. Um, life goes on. Izenzo, Bayashiselwa, um, Chaya Chaya, Ayoyo, and Ekaya. She's worked with um, like various... Uh, record labels. I'm not so sure which one she is with right now. Right. Um, but the lady that we're talking about is none other than Sandra Ndebele. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello the, guys. Linjani. The queen is in the building. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Just and leave me out of it. I'm okay. I don't need to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. How are you guys? Thanks good, for good. having me. Good, good. good. How are you doing, Sandra? I'm good. You know how long we've been trying to get Sandra on the show? I'm I sure how many months. Was she was she like hard to get? Yes. Was she playing hard to get? Yes. Or she was hard to get? Yes, and uh, I think that's what divas do, right? But I'm she's, here, right? She's here. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. She made time. And she, she was, she was like, I was, I'm, "I'm gonna go when I'm ready." And then she gave us the call. And, and she was that ready was today. Nice. <laughs> That was nice. No, but we, we are really happy that you came through. Uh, I know you. I'm not the only one. There's a girl behind the camera who cannot control herself right now. She I was just her. like, she was just like, <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So I, I, I just read a little bit about your your bio. It's not really like a full bio, but mm-hmm. tell us a little bit more about growing up in Bulawayo. Um, okay, I'll say I grew up in Harare. I didn't grow up in Bulawayo. Okay, Bulawayo she was, I was a child. Yes. Oh, right. Right. Then, mm. <laughs> uh, so so Brain Sandra really, really blossomed when I came when I moved from Bulawayo to Harare. Right. Uh it was two thousand and three. Two thousand and two I was with Mpopoma High School. Mm-hmm. So we are the fam that famous group that you saw that traveled to America. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And, yes I remember. and then when we came back Yes, I was born. Mm-hmm. And then after a year, I decided to go solo. It's Sandra Nebley. That was 2003. Right. That's right. when um, I released my like. Uh, sorry, Mama, Mama. Mm-hmm. Mama, Mama, where Mama? That's the one for <laughs> And then she'll be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, okay. Um, I was very aggressive, by the way. So this is mm. why maybe things started moving. Because with the first song that I did, which was Mama, Mama, mm-hmm. the brand was born. Yeah. Right. So I remember it was, in fact, I came to Harare in, in a train. Right. You know, like the overnight train, because I had no yeah. one here in Harare. Why knew? But I had the address here, who was ZMC, who was Wow. <laughs> so you knew nobody? You, no. no one was picking you up? You were, no. Wow. Because most of my relatives that stay in Harare were like distant, not like... And that. how old were you at this time? I was 16. Wow. Hey, Sandra. Mm. You knew still. that the future is in the in Harare, the city life. I'd read, Kuti, if you go to Harare, there's ZMC, there's Grama, mm. there's uh, Ngawongi Records. So I went to ZMC because I was so short and tiny and thin. Mm. I remember um, uh, this white lady said to me, "Ah, you can't represent yourself. You need to send a manager." Mm. I didn't even have a manager because. <laughs> No one knew me. Right. Then um, if I, if there's this guy, uh, the parents who stay in America, okay. then came to my rescue and he took me to Ngavong Records. Then Ngavong Records said to me, yes, definitely we'll give you a contract, but third party. So meaning um, I was supposed to do a, a video for myself, mm-hmm. matching from Elokshin. Hey, Where would I get the money to record a video from? Yes. And then... Um, that same guy again, Avanti and Desakwa Superman Wanzira. I think this girl is talented. Mm-hmm. Uh, just listen. Naya Kavu Mavakati Pati, go and look for she for 300,000. If you come with 300,000, we'll make a video for you. Wow. But oh, 300,000 at that time was so, equivalent to how much? Uh, $1,000. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So then I went to back to Bulawai. Who yeah. give me 1,000 US dollars? Imagine it's a little chin. I will have no sponsor, no place, or nothing. What's your angle? Isn't that my place? I thought, well, the only way here is a sponsor or a place. Eh, zero. So um, I remember I, I, I wrote two letters. One letter that I, I took to Delta, mm-hmm. and the other one to Lobel's Biscuits. Right. And 
they responded because Delta gave me 10 crates of Coke, you know, like the, 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 I'm on board, Lela. Okay, mm-hmm. right. And then uh, Lopez gave me um, those four pack biscuits. You remember that they used to give people when you donate blood? Yes, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Well, what was in the letter? What I, were you asking for? I told them my name is Sandra Ndevele. Mm-hmm. Um, I stay in Kulumane because that's where I was staying. Mm-hmm. I want to release uh, an album. I've managed to record. Mm-hmm. And now I want to do a music video. Mm-hmm. And I know if they sponsor me, Mm-hmm. A lot of like young people in my community will be inspired. Right. That is done by what a local girl. A local no management, girl, yes. nothing. Yes. Doing things on, on on my own. Right. And then this white lady called me. I went there. Mm-hmm. I'm Chova. Mm-hmm. I come straight to <laughs> to Lopez. Because when they responded, they thought they were going to see someone big. Right. Then boom, this a little girl. This tiny this little girl. girl comes. Then and she even when she gave me the biscuit, she's like I'm just giving you because of your confidence. Not that I, you deserve to be to be given. She, this my, mm. you know, because when I was there, obvious. Then Tachishka can be channel. Ti mrungu wa utara ni mrungu and all. So that was intimidated. Ukweli mali ba kunyama biscuits. Hey, why why are we getting biscuits and cokes when we want money? They say they will not give me money. Okay, then I didn't even have a bank account. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so or maybe you're supposed to sell the biscuits and make money yes. for maybe. the video. Uh-huh. Then mm-hmm. they say they'll give me the product. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. That, so that wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. I get guess. product, you sell product, you get money. Maybe. Then now, it's a long way, though. Yeah. Now I, I had the, the biscuits and, and the, the coke. And the, yeah. <laughs> and the coke. I mean, that combination goes like <laughs> coke and biscuits. Yes. Let's do it. So Let's do it. I'm going now. You know, my mother, like, Kumba we are OSDA, born and bred. Ulamang, Sandra, so, Sandra, <laughs> woo. I'm so bad at qualifying. I can't do it. I'm so bad at qualifying. I'm so bad at qualifying. Yo. From camp meeting to... Okay, all right, la, okay. Lava Pathfinder. Subtitles, subtitles. <laughs> wow, okay, I yes. didn't know that. That's good. By the time when I left, I was now a counselor. Single youth, single graduate. Oh, I left. It's the young court. Mm. Becky, Straight. you just <laughs> brought us out of the internet. Okay, sorry. What happened? <laughs> what did we talk about? <laughs> no, no, she was <laughs> just truly <laughs> expressing like, the well, fact that she is really an SDA. All right. Uh, okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, counselor is um, like where she counsels the youth. Uh, the youth start from Pathfinder to um, it's what from adventure from adventurers Path- to pa- Pathfinders um, then to Pathfinders, Pathfinders. counselor then youth. Then the, the yes. married ones, yeah. So she was at counselor level. Wow. So now you know, when I'm mama and church and um, the the titles not to be uh, holding to church. Okay. Now she's like, you can't sell your biscuits, Baji, by my gate mm-hmm. because of the status. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. So she would leave in the morning and I would stay at home. Put my box <laughs> and drinks for sale. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> then around five o'clock, when that was out now, I think she's on her way. Mm. I'll unplug the, the, mm. my banner. Yeah. Right, right. The, the and banner. pick away the business. And yes. pick away the business. And hide it. <laughs> <laughs> and hide it. So I managed to sell all my, my, my biscuits, but then the money was not enough. It was two, 295000 Ah, five thousand short. Mm-hmm. Then I, I, I called. I think maybe if you still remember Peggy, Peggy, the one. Who oh used yeah, to live Peggy, yeah. Mighty movies. Yes. Yeah. Then I called Peggy. I told her I've managed to raise um, this much. And remember that the guy that I had gone with first, the one who had introduced me to Super and Peggy, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. had left for America. So now I was calling them Rubula. I said, "Okay, come." Mm-hmm. Then I back again on the what on the train on because the train. I was avoiding accommodation. Right. In Harare, we buy our arrive, no way to, to sleep. sleep. So I'll sleep on Do the train. Do my business uh, throughout the day, then get on the train and go back to Balawa. Nice. So when I got here, then Peggy says, your song is beautiful. We need a location. Did I even know what location is? I didn't even know what location is. But they helped me. Then we shot Kuyuz it. And boom, Mama Mama became a hit. Wow. <laughs> That's how it, but you, yeah. it, it that, must have taken. That is a powerful story. Yeah. The discipline. Yes. The discipline. The commitment. To, to sell and not chop the man. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's focus right there. I mean, that's a, wow. Because so yeah. I'm thinking if, if you were to give an upcoming artist um, that opportunity, that, okay, I, I can't give you money, but here, here's a product, sell it yeah, and we, raise money. It's probably just going to give up and say, oh, let's just have a Coke and biscuit party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wow. true. 
That's wow. very true. Then, um, yeah, from there, uh, I remember I got my first. In fact, the moment the song came out, Ezom Kito played it a lot. Yes. Wow. A lot. And then booking started coming. I started realizing. And then I, I was invited to this first gala that was going to take place in, was it Marondera? So we told to come all the way to Harare. We got to Harare, we rehearsed in the evening, we were on the bus, we slept on the bus. Um, and I got, I was not even complaining. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Focus. Focus. Right. Mm-hmm. I performed. So all the shows, when I perform this show, I'll, by the time I leave, or there's a new booking. Like many new bookings. Then I was made to perform at the Miss Malaika pageant. Like two months when Mama Mama was now on uh, high rotation. Right. Mm-hmm. Then I was... Then I, in fact, they called me to say, you're performing at the Miss Malaika pageant. Then I'm like, what will I perform? I've got only one song. <laughs> 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 what am I going to do? Then I remember Nandripa Kombi on my way to town when the phone call came. Then I, I was listening to Splash. You know, like, you know, like how our combi is Kupulawai, they play Splash music. I don't know if yes, you know Splash, but no, I, the Shabin music. Okay. That's what uh, is played and, uh, if you are going to town or anything. So, um, Navana, then I had my, okay, my phone was in door, in door, so <laughs> I couldn't write on my phone, but I, I, I used to carry a book and a pen okay. all the times. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, like, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabata, Oh, my Laika. Then I went down. Oh. Then the idea just came there and there. Then, uh, because the it was the whole album that was being played. So the whole way in the <coughs> combi, you were writing this. Getting Malika lots song. of inspiration. Inspiration from that song. Then when I got to town, I went straight to the studio. That's how <coughs> that's how I recorded my like. Otherwise, the song was just going to disappear. Because <coughs> it was on a Wednesday, and the show was on a Friday in Kadoma. Then I was carrying my small radio, you know, like I had a small radio cassette. Cassette, like a, like a little, you know those, like a little right? boombox. Yeah. Yes. You know those, aren't you? Cassette, hmm. uh, the small one. <laughs> so I got to Kwe Kwe on a Friday. <laughs> I gave her that colored. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice one, baby. Nice one. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. <laughs> so I go to Kwe Kwe on a on a Friday afternoon, with the hope that. Uh, There'll be a lot of big people from Harare mm-hmm. that will come. And I was ready to make anyone listen to my music. Right. So we then performed around 9 p.m. And yes, definitely the ministers came. Mm-hmm. But everyone who came, came in late. Right. So they didn't hear my song. Oh, you'd already performed it. <laughs> I'd already performed Did you oh. hear what she said? The ministers <laughs> came. Mm-hmm. Those people are never on time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So obviously, mm-hmm. they, they, they arrived, but... Mm-hmm. Then I waited for them by, by the breakfast uh, lounge in the morning. You waited for them? Yes. yes. I was up at six You're going to hear in the me. morning. <laughs> this, <laughs> this level of focus, does it exist today? This, I, I don't I, I, know. This is a powful story. Like, yeah. you're so committed. Uh, they, tell like, okay, you, they tell you impossible stuff. You missed stuff. me last night, but I know mm. you're not going to miss breakfast. No, it starts off yeah. from, you know, you, we need 300,000 bucks, mm-hmm. which is like a whole lot of money. But you're not defeated. Then you go and you make a plan. Yeah. yeah. Biscuits, cokes. The, the the yes. Yeah. And, and remember, then instead you were of 16. Ha- in, yes. You and were in, 16. Instead of having a party with your coke and biscuits, mm-hmm. you start a business. <laughs> you make money. Now, the focus is consistent. Yeah. No, that's. So, so, so yeah, I remember it was um, uh, the late Minister Manika and mm. uh, then Minister Jonathan Moyo and. Um, um, youth was uh, um, it was Manika then I think if I'm not wrong so I made them listen to the song mm. and they listened then they're like so what help mm. do you want <laughs> you know we're not, pro- we're not producers yes. Yes. Then, then I said okay because I performed so well then it was my matonga she's the one who had the, the license for Miss Malaika oh, okay. so yeah, now she was there mm-hmm. so she, lis- she had listened to the song mm-hmm. earlier Mm-hmm. So after listening to the song, she said to me, I'm definitely bringing it to the finals in Harare because those were preliminaries. Okay, right. All right. So after that conversation in the morning, also I was like, 
like yes, fired yes up. definitely definitely if i'm going to harare i must have a video and and chi 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 so how do i do the video i don't even have money mm-hmm. you tangira pap not tanga futi my biscuits na got to know there's ministers in the room <laughs> so like, then i went then they then they told me but you you are you are a youth there are grants that are given mm-hmm. just write yeah. a letter and um bring it to my office on monday um then what then we we take it from there what was that that was uh, that was minister manyika yes all right then i wrote my letter i wrote my letter <laughs> Do you know what? Mm-hmm. On Monday, I flew to Harare. You For flew? Oh, she flew. I could cheer right there. Yes, she Whoa. flew, y'all. She flew. For the first time, it was my first time to even board it. Uh, no, it was the second time because I traveled with EASA. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. With the, yeah, with Four. the American trip, yeah. So I flew to Harare because my... The, my Matunga, now it was my Matunga leading everything for me because she had liked what I had done in, in Kwekwe. Mm-hmm. Then they gave me 2,200, 1,100 is grant, 1,100 is loan. Okay. That's how we recorded the Malaika video. Wow. Oh, wow. And then um, the minister also, the minister of information, then they said, this is a beautiful song. And seeing that we are pushing my like there was no theme song for what for, for the pageant. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Let's then the song it. it started they started playing it, playing it, play it, playing it. Then another hit again was born. That's how Malaika came. Then okay. after Malaika, everything started flowing because there was what? There was income. Mm-hmm. And controversy now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> before before we get before we get to the controversy, Sandra, because you've got a lot mm-hmm. of it. Um <laughs> When you branched out from Iasa mm-hmm. to go solo, mm-hmm. didn't you ever think of bringing in Albert Nyati as your manager? Because wasn't he like running Iasa at that time? Or wasn't he part of Iasa or had to do with Iasa? No, he had nothing to do with Iasa. Yo. Uh, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was young then. Okay. But I know there's a time when we came to National Sports when he would do, because he had his talent search show mm-hmm. called Imbongi. Yes, talent search show because I also won in one of uh, of those competitions. Those competitions, right? But uh, him as a manager managing me personally, I think maybe why it didn't even maybe come to mind is because he was an artist. I'm an artist, so yeah. an artist managing another artist. What mm. about the yeah. leader? Conflict of interest, man. Yeah, where he has a corner. All right, like your my, my your director. group leader. Yes, your director. Okay, like like I said to you that. Um, Tina, we grew up in Popoma, and we were under Ngule, we innocent to be right. So mm-hmm. um, we toured Austria. When we came back from Austria with the little money that I had, that's the money that I used to record my EP. Okay. And then I left, mm-hmm. thinking the world things are like going to be just like, come my way, mm-hmm. not knowing that I was end up selling biscuits and Coke to make <laughs> things happen. Mm-hmm. Right, you see. So obvious, I couldn't approach him to manage me because he was managing. Yeah, all right. Yes, yeah, okay. And again, you know, when you want to grow, even at home, your mommy will continuously say, "No, you have to. You are still young. You are still young. Stay there." Yeah. Plus, Get also, also, I do the mean, problem. She left yes, and then mm-hmm. she come back, and then she wants to be managed. Well, I think she wanted to just grow herself. Yeah. Okay. You know. And see things differently from and you did, another eh? perspective. Mm. Cook like my biscuit. <laughs> 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 not only that, the world uh, is not friendly. <laughs> what did you face? There, 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 there we were. You know, like I always say uh, to people that um, Tina were helped more by I grooming. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, right. Because one, we never used to even drink alcohol as performers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were not allowed to mingle <coughs> and mix and what, what. When we get to people's places, mm-hmm. we used to wear our black jeans and black t-shirts, like like yeah, we used like to young see army you. uniform. We used to see you. <laughs> young yeah. army uh, group. Um, as a young girl, when you uh, came to Arare and you were looking for fame, uh, weren't you taken advantage of? Um, I would say yes. I'll say no. Uh, why I would say yes? All a lot of people tried. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But because me now I was guided more by my seventh day Adventist principles, I was scared of my dad more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not 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 the world. You know, like I would think my father is seeing what I'm doing in Harare. Mm-hmm. To an extent you could see I remember newspapers were right. Remember that time in Harare you'd wake up at one o'clock at one o'clock, the newspaper is out. 
Mm. I'll drive from home 1 a.m. if I'm not performing just to get the newspaper to hear what they're saying about me. Before your dad. Before my dad uh, calls Mm. me. Then I'll call him to start explaining. He'll say, ah, Mm. La Pana, they were saying this, but I I didn't do that. Mm. So, So I think that... That guy, because you know, like like you are saying, someone will come to me and say, "Oh, you 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 have the salon." When maybe one of the ladies have told them that send this by the salon, then someone mm. comes like, "There is one thousand US dollars. Go do your hair. Where where on earth have you ever seen a hair to forty thousand dollars?" But if uh, but, but you, because you, of my principles, I will not even take that money <sighs> at all. You're supposed to take the money. You take the money. You don't cooperate. But it it saved you. I need yes, it did. It did. It did. I was, I'll, I'll take the money and not cooperate. Of w- course w- you would. How would that work? It's like That's what I'm saying. Uti, in the three parents, you know, like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my, Guidos, you, we'll take the money, right? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but no, I'm if sure. You do that, I'll take and it. Like, I'll call you back. Well, now, well, now, now you know. Now, <laughs> now I'll take it. And now you take the money, man. Then you'll be like, sorry, what were you so saying? So missed opportunities <laughs> there. <laughs> no, she learned. She learned from the process. <laughs> she was right. like, ah, Pepe, and three parents. But those were some very expensive lessons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were. So I, I can you would let money go? Not only money. Offers. Do you know you'll be offered a car? Someone says, oh, there is a, a Lamborghini, for example, if it's today, then. Yes, right, mm. right. For what? To an extent, I'll tell you uh, this thing. I don't know if maybe you, you saw it. If you go back to the, to the, um, to the archives, you'll see um, there is this story. Remember, in the Gudara, you know, like it's just a story. Yeah, yeah. It's just a story. Yes. Mm-hmm. When they were going around taking things that he, I think, was buying for the girls and all and all. Right. They came to me mm-hmm. to take my car. To take your car? Yes, because they thought the assumption was because the media had said, even if we meet to Janoti, I'm going my newspaper. I'm going to my newspaper. So, and this line is going to be what I loved. Young boys then, not, oh, not, ooh, not okay. big boys. Oh. Like you know, <laughs> I was in the. Like you know, like from I had my high school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. I was in the school sweetheart. Like on Monday after my shows, I would just go pa re pa pa stop. I was in the bus. 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 I was But knowing the power of money and yeah. everything that you've ever wanted to do needed money, mm-hmm. and then. You, you get people Gender. offering you money. Mm-hmm. Oh, how do you turn down such uh, temptation? I mean, yeah. like, you, 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 you are driven. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you want to do more videos. Mm-hmm. And then people are just, like, showering you with money. Remember, I will say, I will say to, 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 to you, Denny, I was one of the lucky ones, especially in this industry. Mm-hmm. With the first song, second song, mm-hmm. third song, fourth song, mm-hmm. fifth song, all becoming hits. Right. So my bookings angle away like every Genuine. weekend. Okay. So not one. So Sometimes we perform Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wednesday, right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Not my shows. Mm-hmm. And um, that's the time my chess also introduced me to the world where I was touring all over Zimbabwe with my chess. And my shows are my chess away Friday, Saturday. Where we will leave Harare on a Friday morning, get to Gweru, for example, perform, not sleep in Gweru. Three a uh, when my cheso goes for his last set, till now we start driving to Bulawayo, so that we're in Bulawayo at eight in the morning. We check in. That's one night. Mm-hmm. Then you sleep the whole day. In the <coughs> evening, nine o'clock, I have to be a stage before my cheso what comes in. Then we go back and rest. Then the next day, you're now driving back to she to Arar. So you started getting income quite early. You didn't need yes. to. To be blessed. Yes, this is what this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blesser. There was no need to be blessed. There was no need to mm-hmm. be blessed. The At only blessings point, yeah. you were getting were from God. Yes. And was uh, there someone managing again, your money remember. now? Or it was like from, from them into your hand straight? Uh, into my I had an account and now and oh. oh. now you oh. had an account. <laughs> so you were like you could pay into my account. Yes. Yes. Then things were well, things were good. <laughs> things were good. So yeah, so um, I started performing, yeah. performing, performing, and people started saying stories. What's the worst story that you've ever heard about yourself? Um, that one I had HIV. Two, I'd gone to Joburg to 
no isama implants three year went to austria to q8 um wow. okay you know like like i told you takura nkuluma network nkuluma na ku location Mm-hmm. Now uh, you are past stage you could you're able to buy yourself let's say juice for example. Mm-hmm. I was not in a position you even utenga mineral water chai. Ukaita thirst wanga uchikumbira bodhuru kuti ndivure tape kuti tese ndinwe mvura and three months down the line things start changing. Mm-hmm. You've got Maria kuti even your dad does not even have it. You've never even seen it kumba kwako. Then I remember I, I went to Joburg ndinga no shopa kuno shopera Right. Mm-hmm. Then I stayed in Jopek in a hotel for six days. No bless her. No bless her. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no bless. This is all Sandy's mm-hmm. money. <laughs> Because right. I wanted to record mm-hmm. my second album. Right. So I'd gone to talk to people, you know. Mm-hmm. I, those are right. In Kwablawa, you could dara through years and all. So when I came back, I was all oh, clever Virginiana and all. And then, <laughs> and then they're like, What? Why so where did the cleavage, the cleavage come from? Yes, where, where did the cleavage know? come from? But if, if everything, you remember I was young. Uh-huh. So I was developing. Things mm-hmm. were changing. Mm-hmm. So they changed while you were in job again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shots. Oh, big <laughs> look. They saw it when I came back wow. from job again. <laughs> But you, okay, you, you were in job again for how long? For just those for changes? Just for seven days. Do, is is, is that not enough then, time to get Just for seven days. Dude. <laughs> Remember you're telling us about implants and what you're knowledgeable. Dude. How many days do you need? <laughs> How many days do you need to No, she to needs to heal. So, it, seven days is too quick. But you can just cover it up and no, then you are healing you, underneath. No, because you need to be in the bandages and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cuts. It takes, right, it right, takes right, a okay. while. All right. I mean, I, I remember, it was just gaining nyana. I was so th- just look at uh, uh, Mama Mama. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we and maybe look there. at the videos when I started performing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not at least the, the video you would say there was effort nyana because Peggy played a role, there was makeup, there was lipstick and all. Eh? Yeah, yeah. But all my shows I'll go and perform without makeup because makeup wasn't really wasn't your thing then. Uh-huh. and i did not not my thing i didn't even know okay and yeah and al- and also good food can do wonders isn't it yes mm-hmm. MSG if you start if you start and having and relaxation as well Ooh. yeah with <laughs> a peaceful mind like yeah. relax a bit you get a cleavage <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey, sandra <laughs> 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 like, bake you on a roll <laughs> Baby, baby, don't fall. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense of it all. You go to Jobek, I will let you see Clive. Let me tell you, you, you come back and it's like Jobek, Pamela yes. Anderson. Because and now you can wear a, a, a suitable a bra. bra. Yes, right. but that's right. You have to wear a bra. You have to wear a bra. Okay, okay. Maybe I get you. You know. You remember even my our panties then. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you wait. Maybe because you don't have money, right, to buy another one. Yes. And it is a little bit cooler. Yeah, elastic. And then you tie then you it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so now, now you went to Joburg. Now I could afford to get yeah, Victoria's uh, Secret. La Senza stuff. and just buy my set. Okay. Then we call La Senza. And then... Yeah, come back, guys. Your mind's just so wandered. Come Kibish, back. Then you're saying... And they look at Liniana. Then they're saying, ah, oh, this one. She went to do some so stuff. Uh-huh. But I've done nothing. Zero. All right. Uh, did you marry your, your, your high school sweetheart? Yes. Okay. So when all of this is happening, what is he saying? Uh then he was no longer in the picture. He had oh. gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Yeah. Oh, he had gone. Yes. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think she should have just she should have also told us a bit of the real past past before she started doing music because yeah. she didn't get to tell us that. Let's rewind. Ah, uh, okay. Um to the beginning, to s- when you were in school and and how you okay, came. Okay, I was at Founders High School. Right. Then um Drew found us. I used to do public speaking. Then I failed. Then my daddy said, "Repeat. Go back to." Opalama Collections back at the same school. No, I went. Okay. That's when I went to Mbopoma High School. Uh-huh. Yeah. But when I was at Founders, I remember we tried uh, music with my friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to play with these three girls. The other one is in South Africa. The other one is in America now. And uh, we used to call ourselves Deluxe. What? We the the looks. looks. As you in, the as in look. the looks. <laughs> yeah, the looks. <laughs> and uh, then we were out uh, there. We were trying um, uh, hip hop, not mm. not Afro pop. How was that? So Can you mm-hmm. bust a rhyme? Bust <laughs> a rhyme. I remember one of the songs that we wrote. Sassitim, mm. sassitim. Um, we gotta hear as the as the as the sun goes down on the plain, a wind whistles Beatbox, like a runaway train. Uh-huh. It's a beautiful thing, honey. It's me together in a flatbed truck, like a white tail. 
From Kweko to Zishabane, mm. we name the theme. Oh. We rise to the top. Oh. Something on the top. Oh. Who the hell wanna stop me from? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, because then when we <laughs> when we formed <laughs> when we formed our group, <laughs> nice. When we formed our group, we we used to love Cisco. You remember? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. So we'd wear our grey pants from our. Uh, school classmates boys the boys yeah yeah and then with white shirts and we tie them started and given and then because i had to go to popo my high school so we separated oh man then the band broke and yeah, then the band separated diluted, diluted. oh man and then we so when i got to popo my because i was clever then I, i i went to the drama group to say now i want to join the what the drama group but my dad didn't let me because of what had happened kuchi i found us. us so i formed my group again they <laughs> they looks they looks too <laughs> <laughs> they looks reloaded no it was no longer their looks then it was isn't on when i like platform oh, yo, 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 yo. one yo, yo, now you went platform one yes and i i was no modeling i want miss popoma by the way short is i wow <laughs> oh my god i'll send you the picture i saw it uh uh Yes, we need it. Bago. <laughs> we need a picture. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm telling you. And you at you at Bopoma from from what? Oh, you I you just did the one year. Form. Yeah. All right, okay. Rewriting. I'm trying um, to make you understand. Uh, m- maybe you, you don't know or maybe mm. you do know like mm-hmm. the difference between Founders High School and Bopoma. What's the difference? Goromonzi St. John's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just put it into perspective. <laughs> wow. Yes, so she 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 did it vice versa. Mm-hmm. She went St. John's Goromons. Yeah, that's how we do. <laughs> so at Founders, it was Deluxe. Mm. Okay. Right? Mm. At Goromons, it was... No, at uh, St. John's, it mm. was Deluxe. Right. And then Goromons, it's now in Tombez. In Tombez, it's in Zambia. Okay, yeah. I don't know what that means, but it's, it doesn't sound uptown at all. Vaskana. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, so um, then I was all over anyway, because I, I think I loved things. So I was interact club, public speaking, drama. That's the time I think we came to Harare to to Albert Nyati's event. Mm-hmm. And because um, I had won first prize in Imbonge Talent Search. Right. So when we went back to Bulue, that's when the director, Godilego Innocent Dube, said to then me, you need to join. You need to join the what? Because I remember my poem, what was my poem saying? I would say, um, <clears throat> I am black. Come on. Look at me. I am black and I'm proud. I follow the trends set by the late Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Jason Zia Papa Moyo, Josiah Dongokara, Alfred Nigita Mangena, not to forget umqabu kokanye ngolongomo umafukufuku odawu kekhezi ilembe lexhamanya malembe ngokukhalipha umhlahlandlelo wahlahlela indlela emazi zombe zombi yombuso. He was black and proud like me and then you got everybody got right there <laughs> <laughs> and then i got everybody right there and then they were like we need her yeah. <laughs> and, and then you won that right yes yeah that was a winning poem no it was like because you know with um with art in especially in obulawayo if you just include forefathers in it mm-hmm. ah shark come on right right mm-hmm. you're done what would i ah bulele So yeah, so when we came back from Harare that's when I started working with um, Bopo my school drama club and then um um ESO was born after that. And how long were you with ESO for? Um just a year. Just a year. Mm-hmm. I and always want more. You mm-hmm. always think. Yeah, and uh, I'm a risk taker, serious one. All right, speaking about wanting more <laughs> and risk taking. <laughs> yeah. uh, this high school sweetheart, what happened to him? Because um, you were boarding buses and everything, and then all of a sudden you're famous. He left He's the not country. He left the country. The, his family took him to England, and then, uh, um, oh yes, things happened. There was this mm-hmm. one and that one and <coughs> that and that, and then 
things never worked, and then boom, we're back to get together again. Mm. This is Nkanyi So Mpusi Sibindi. Mpusi Sibindi. Did I say it correct? Sure. Can you say it's my first <coughs> one? Oh. Yeah. What's Okay, so your husband's name is? Mbusi. Mbusi Sibindi. Mm. Ah, okay. Say Mbusi. Mbusi. Thank you. Mbusi. Because you rules. rules. Mm? <laughs> did, did you all hear that? Or was that the only one who heard what he said? <laughs> <laughs> was that the only one who heard what he said? <laughs> okay, let's just keep it. Even if you, 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 he's gone. Mm. But it's okay. You watch the... <laughs> You watch the replay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so tell us about the elaborate wedding in Bulawayo. Apparently you did this wedding and then you shut out the whole city. The whole city yeah. went on, st- on stand still. <sighs> okay. Let me help you with that. Oh, thank you. So, what happened? Okay, then let's get married. Mm-hmm. We agree, let's get married. Um, you rekindled the rem- romance in what year? 2008. 2008. Mm. Okay, all right. Just for 16 days and we got married. You, huh? re- you rekindled <laughs> for 16 days and then he was like, I'm not letting you go. Yeah. Si- 16 days? Yeah. You just you just carried on from where you left off? For like 16 you days, you could January saying, baby, come back. Mm-hmm. And I I don't trust you. Name cards. I guess I'm cards to England. Don't you baby come back? You're watching me. Mm. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go on a three days over by. This is if you want to see me. Like you know, like that that room I go to when you're in England. When you're massaging, remember you used to massage our children. We're getting them weekly. Right. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so I then said, because I didn't know that Suzy, what happened. Mm. What then I said to him, ah, okay. So if you are saying you love me, you need to see me every month. Because mm-hmm. eh, I knew it was impossible for him. But then Suzy, I could him, brother, I'm going to run again. So he ended was uh, January three days, uh, March two days. Then we met in Dubai. We met in Dubai. South Africa. Yes. He and then serious, he said, huh? yes. Then the ne- other month, Akati, I'm coming to Zim. Then I got pregnant. Boom, just like that. Mm-hmm. So then you went. When you went, then I discovered, could I the Sarah and Nanechi? Then I got some. What's your present? What's your present? Then I say, told him, Akati, Akati, hey. like culturally, you know, like they will say, come and, um, and sort it out. And Diviga. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. and we got like that you are pregnant. Oh, yes. Like, yeah. if, mm-hmm. if I tell you that mm-hmm. your family would say, Come to the gate, or that's what you do. Mm-hmm. You should come up and say, Get like, then you say, I've come to tell you that I'm what. Mm-hmm. Then I say to him, If you want me to do that, nope, the baby is mine alone. Mm-hmm. I'll keep and raise the baby because I was able. Huh? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> then they came and look at that. Then my dad is like, so when they came, like let's say this week, they were told Kuti, the money needed is this much. Then he said, um, we're coming next weekend. The mm. next weekend they came. Then my father got, what's the rush? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we came to Dubai. Mm. 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 Then my father got, what's the rush? What is the rush? You don't know, <laughs> just sort us out, man. <laughs> hey. So, yeah. Now we've got three babies. Because of Vumam Chatu, I want to go Okay. So, but, but the actual wedding, I heard it Why was a big thing. Why did you shut came? Who came to, to perform? I, I heard there was like a whole lot of uh, celebrities there. What, tell us a little more about the wedding. <laughs> okay, the wedding. So, is the Kumba Kwe, I'm the first one. Kumba Kwa husband, he's the first one, right? Ooh. So, yes, the wedding was ours, but the it wedding was, it wasn't, wasn't ours. Yeah. Okay. To an extent, you could hear that. Three different venues. <laughs> ours, oh, our right? venue. The parents' venue. The parents' venue and the menu as well. Wow. Okay. His dad did something. There was the Indian cuisine, and some people were told to go there. Mm-hmm. And um, our event, it wanted to be small and intimate, mm-hmm. 500 people. And small and intimate. That's small? 500. 500. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you want a small and intimate wedding, 500 people. Yeah. What? And uh, yeah, a lot of my friends from SA came. Platform One was there. Professor was there. So, at the venue, mind, 
like just the night before the wedding. I don't know what happened. There was miscon- uh, miscommunication. Irisiras to an extent, yaguti people first came to my house because you know, like the the moment the, the, you have to sleep by your parents. Yes, place. yes, yeah. Then so when we left Nkuluman, where I grew up, the whole Nkuluman people people dressed up like that's not going invite you. Right. They followed the cars, the bright the bright cars. <laughs> Those that were coming from town, they do you turn and then everyone has now what following. Mm. So when we go to Nesbit Castle, um, the guards now they, they don't know. they don't know who's invited, who's and not who's invited. Not. Mm-hmm. Everyone is saying I'm invited. Mm-hmm. So it was so chaotic to an extent you could see they ended up saying, Okay, everyone sit down, let's do the ceremony. So if you see the pictures, <laughs> It was a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> so the queen was getting married. Oh, the queen, queen was getting married. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ghetto. Like, we, we can't fix this right now. They so didn't just even sit. look ghetto-ish. Mm. People, they were dressed up. Mm. Like Everybody chain, But no invitation. Even Like five years ago, I met this girl called German. And she told me I was there by a week. <laughs> but I didn't mm. even know her. Yeah. I didn't even know her. So there were thousands. Stay, I used to stay next to Nesbitt Castle. So when I heard things happening, I just stressed up and what? And I, went and I came <laughs> to the wedding. <laughs> but there was yeah. enough for everyone. Like No food was enough. Like I said, we had three events. So On the same day? Yeah, the, yes, the second wedding was starting at night. The one with the Indian cuisine. So also there were a lot of people there. Which brings me to the next question. What does this guy do? Hey. This <laughs> husband guy? He's a she laughs. He's a what? He's a what? He's a what? He's a husband. He's a, he, he, oh, he, he, what does the husband, husband do? Because he's he, he can afford to do big things. <laughs> big mm. things. He like shut down the whole city. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, just know that I'm well taken care of. Of course, Sandy. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. What does he do? He does things, Chet. <laughs> well, we, we know that he's a lawyer, right? That, that part we know. He went to school to do law. Yeah, but yeah, he doesn't. But he's not practicing, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need hmm. to. He mm. doesn't need to. He went to school to do law, mm. but he's not. Did he's we not Google right. him? We didn't. You won't even see him. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying. He's, he's so private. <laughs> so a, the guy's a private guy. He says this is my life, not his. Mm. So he doesn't want. Yeah, this is one cool. Yeah. Cool nice. Guy. We must go to Bulawayo to go see him. Hmm? That's why you, you see, I can't yeah. even post the kids. Here and there I do, but... Um, I was about to, to, to mention that, like, you've kept your family, like, out of it mm-hmm. all. He says Is it not choose. hard to do? Because I know there's some moments where it's you like just want to... The little sister, she's so talented. I, wa- I want to post it, but I can't. Mm-hmm. I really want to do that. I still want to post it. Big Wait, let's cool wait for them to grow yeah. and they choose. No, but mm. I, I, I try not to do it a lot because I know, obviously, um, it's got its repercussions to it. But mm-hmm. she's done... Amazingly well. Um, amazingly well. Um, back to your husband and uh, him separating himself um, from your career and mm-hmm. brand. Um, there was uh, a position that you were appointed... Mm-hmm. Or I don't know if it had to do with the government or if it had to do with news. No, the controversial Zanu PF uh, post. Was it that one where you were? Yeah, I think that's yeah, the one um, where you were appointed head of some entertainment, um, something. No, it's not. Um, okay, let me break it down. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's not some Zanu PF what mm-hmm. one. It's young women for economic development. But it's a ZANU PF initiative. It's non-partisan. It's only that. Okay, so it being when called young women for ED for economic development. So it, the ED is economic development. Yes. Is that what they told you? <laughs> is that what they told you, or is it oh, what it is? <laughs> <laughs> let me. That's why I said. Let me explain. Break it down, down yeah. to the end, so that you understand. Okay. Okay. You see, this is what is. Um, is hindering development. You, eh? no, they mm-hmm. started. They, I'm saying because yeah, there, there was a backlash. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've been. She received you know, a backlash for. I attract such things, so mm. okay. I understand. Okay, so explain young women for ED. Yes, <laughs> Tina, we are, we are young women for economic development, but we work with the sitting government mm-hmm. because we are what we are economic development. There is no economy that runs on its own without on its own. On. Yeah. Okay. Even without the 
ruling okay Th- that's a very very clever response um but I, i'll put it to you i will put <laughs> <laughs> I will I will put it, it to you. <laughs> I will put it to you yes. that um I'm sure you have a soft spot for Zanu PF because the people who put you in the spotlight mm-hmm. when you started your career mm-hmm. was Zanu PF. Elliot Manyika, Jonathan Moyo, these people pushed your music, they pushed you mm-hmm. to be where you are. Yes. And uh and I think when that came out, the controversy mm-hmm. um I think for you it's a, it's a bit difficult because uh you sing to everyone. Mm. Yes. You know, all the parties, you're not a, you're not really partisan like that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time you have to show your appreciation for the ruling party. They they do, do you know stuff. What I for always you. what I always say, especially now. Um it's that uh especially us as as Zimbabwean people, right? We 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 like saying things more on the other side and not say things more on the other side. Mhm. Yeah, I don't know if you're getting me. I'm getting you. <laughs> go, go you're you're about to make us get you. Okay, we're waiting. We're um, musicians, or I'll say people, like yes, rightfully putting it, that uh, for me to be maybe what I am. Mm. I remember 10 years ago when I would perform Kuma Gala and, and Chi 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 Chi, mm-hmm. they, would, they would still say, you what? You are that. but mm. you know isn't that because that's the ruling party that's the party that's ruling the country at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right that's so if if say power changes hands mm-hmm. will it still be young women yes, for yes for economic development I swear. yes no. do you know why let me tell you why why yeah, I was like man I'm like Sandra, like Sandra, I I I I'm, I'm trying to get <laughs> uh-huh. you and I remember, get you. Remember, remember. But this is the women's league of Zanu No, no, no. no that started league. that Let movement. T- no. Okay, correct us. Correct us. No. Break it down. <laughs> correct us. We have no problem Be- with you. Because clearly we are lost right we now. Have no you are lost. Yes. Yeah, so c- correct exactly us. You are. Yeah. Like I'm saying, till now we are young women for what? For economic development, but working with the what? With the ruling. Go- with the r- ruling government. The government. Which, which is run right. by the ruling party. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's that's who we are, and we what we do is we um, visit communities, uh, see young girls that uh, have potential in anything, be it be it work making, be it keeping rabbits, be it agriculture, be it okay. mining, be it music, and we mentor them. We've mentored uh, seven groups in Pigari. Mm-hmm. If you come to Bulawayo one day, I'll show you. Mm-hmm. They were given land. They started building, uh, but not started. They've built Matanga. They have 70 peaks as of today. They are 12. But through what economic <coughs> development that we are pushing as she as young women. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess it's just a catchy phrase, hey? Mm-hmm. Uh? Young women. For this is why ca- other people are now saying, what, what, for what, 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 for what, what. But mm-hmm. they are not what. They're, they're not they're doing not what, what we are what, doing. What, what. <laughs> they're not doing what we are doing. Because if you come on the ground and see what we've done, then that's when you understand what young women for economic development is for. To understand what you there's this boy who Facebook page Kwango who came maka popota popota popota. The only thing I say to him, ah, if you think it's that, ah, but you've never had many chukutuka kuti uri MTC or richi. So I wonder kuti rundi tu kire inina. When I'm telling you that we are economic development, send your sister to us. We'll help her. Send your sister to us. Then she came to my. Then he came to my inbox. Are you are you telling the truth or you're just? Yes, I'm telling the truth. Send your sister. I come to your sister. Because do you know what? A lot of people are not working. Are not going to work, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of young people are not going to work. So it's also approach here. Do you good? All those young people that are not going to work. How do we help them? If we give them twenty US dollars. They will charge it, right? Mm-hmm. But if we educate them so that we have sustainability in everything that they are doing later, they will thank us forever. They will know that young women can't sit and change their marabits. And here and there, when we have money, we also give them marabits. Actually, we don't give money; we buy marabits and then yeah, we because give them when you learned that way, Musa, they gave you yes. coke and lopels. <laughs> <These kids. laughs> I ain't giving you money. Uh-huh. All right, so let's say. You know, hypothetically, mm-hmm. just putting it out there, mm-hmm. if this young women for ED was really young women mm. for ED, which is, would you have an issue with it? Would you still be part of it? 
if it wasn't young women for economic development, but it was young women for for ED, would you still be part of it or you would have issues with it? No, I mean, I, I personally, I would not have issues with it, okay. right? But obvious, uh, you you get to do things where there's something that you're seeing is of your worth <laughs> and your time. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you benefiting yeah. at the end of the day? Mm-hmm. You see? Because you can land and do these missions. At the end of the day, you're not getting, benefiting anything. If there's a benefit for me I'm and do growth, it. I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Simple. I'll do it. Okay. That's clear enough. So from <laughs> economic development, let's mm-hmm. talk about your academic development. I, I believe uh, you you went back to school. Yeah. Tell us about that journey and why you thought it was important that you go to school. Um, okay. Go back to school, rather. Um, like I said, I started music when I was very young. One. Uh, two, pressure. Two world's pressures. Then you start doing things. All the attention is on you. You yeah. don't think uh, of yourself. You're thinking of other people that surround you. Mm-hmm. You don't even think of empowering yourself further right. so that you're able to manage your brand. Or even if the manager comes and says this and this and this, you're able to say, no, I can't mm-hmm. So, um, okay, I'll just say maybe through the husband and <laughs> the others. <laughs> he was like, girl, you need to go back to school. Mm-hmm. Didn't you fight him, though? No. Because, uh, okay, the reason why, okay, he had said it. Obviously, you know, when they say things, we don't listen. We just say, ah, okay, you've said so it. Yeah. But uh, um, I sit, uh, I sit, Wupo, the Traffic Safety Council mm-hmm. of Zimbabwe, the National Blood Service of Zimbabwe, right. is their community rep. So I've done a lot of community work. This is why maybe a lot of people would not want to understand when really su- such posts come. Mm-hmm. I work more with the community, mm-hmm. with the young people. Mm-hmm. But it's only that I don't love e- <laughs> more publicity. Yeah. To an all my birthdays, every 3rd of January, I instead of cooking for my kids, we cook with the kids and the family. The we then thing. invite like all orphan, all homes around Bulawayo. Mm-hmm. Then we meet in one place. Then I perform for them, feed them the whole day. Oh. Then give them presents from nice. presents that my friends give me, yeah. they, they go home. So they all know, they, everyone is looking forward to the 3rd of January. I'm now looking forward to the 3rd of January. <laughs> for We're all in it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the birthday. So, um, I had to school mine. Okay. Academics, why did you okay. go back to school? So then, um, as the community rep, uh, over traffic safety, as you know, Tina, as musicians, he, our incomes are not um, steady, especially right. now with the COVID, Mm-hmm. And everything, and we are getting old. So, what's your plan, Cindy? Mm-hmm. Your fallback plan? Pella, I'm not used to be given mm-hmm. more. Yes, I'm, I get given, but uh, I make my own <laughs> on the side. So, if the the, the music season, in Asa realize, then what do I do? Right. And then it um, there was an opening M Sevens, and then because we are the ambassadors of that company we were given the first preference to what to bring our CVs. And then um, in that CV imagine there was a, a, a double cap school fees for the kids, housing, what what and working at what at your own pace and time, working from home. Nice. Then they say it uh, bring CVs. Hey hey. Now send so that one really pained me. I don't want to lie to you because I was the youngest in the whole team. And my, my chances are very high. Mm-hmm. Even in terms of brand visibility, brand yes. visibility, I was more visible than my others right. that I was with. You just so needed a CV with a bit of weight. Yes. With a diploma, a school, degree, yeah. something. I was going to have a computer to take. Oh, Oh, my God. Is that school still open? Oh, the way you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story with it? You are you allowed? It's an old <laughs> high You went yes, to it? Yes, that's why I did my introduction to computers. <laughs> ICT. Right. It was still called ICT. Right. So, um, yo, 
Uh, then, uh, then I just said to myself, I'm going back to school. You, do, you can't even believe it. Mm. I told myself I'm going to school. Because you felt it, yeah? Yeah. I went the back. Between Gabe, go on. Uh, school fees, Baba. Go on. Imba, go on. Yeah. Then I went back to, I went to foundation, I registered. That's how I go at night. Then that's when chronically one day spotted me. When we <laughs> when, when we're now doing revision for the for the for exams, the exams. Mm-hmm. then story pa. Then, but I said to myself, I don't care. I'm doing this thing. Yeah. Then that's when I then I went to MSU. So I'm graduating next year in April. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What did you yeah. major in? Uh, music business, musicology, and technology. Oh, nice. Yeah. We have to be nice. at this graduation, right? No, service call, yeah. <laughs> Are we invited? Yes, we'll definitely. Be there. Invited. Yes. With our big smiles <laughs> and Sandra dances. Mm. Oh, nice. You are invited. So, so she went back to school. Um, if yeah. my husband watches this episode, I'm done for. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Because he's been talking about Becky go back to school, and I'm just like, do I look? Your like motivation is not that fantastic yeah. because you haven't lost a twin cap house and school fees. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so I know. Not a it's not like a. Hey, yeah, <laughs> I can I, I can take a chill pill. But you don't want that to come when you're not ready. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because you're. Well, because, thank you. Because everybody knows Becky now. <laughs> Becky's everywhere. One day you're going to get this phone call. Yo, Becky, you want to. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was. <laughs> So Be- solid. Becky goes back to school. <laughs> Becky goes back to the, the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> Becky goes yeah. back to school. Stop it, don't do we'll it. We'll come, we'll come. Day one will be there. You'll we'll be there, day yeah. one. Yeah. To support no, thanks, you. Guys. Thanks, support guys. you. Support you. Mm-hmm. Got you. Thank you. All right. So you went to Joburg for a week, came back, you had a cleavage. What else did you come back from <laughs> Joburg with? Yeah, what else did you come carrying? <laughs> <laughs> New wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> New wardrobe. I think at the beginning of the year, yeah. January. Um, we saw these pictures and we were like, what is Sandra trying to do? She oh. wants to kill us. You know, you know, people we were like, rebranding mm. or something. Yeah. And then we were like, those are some powerful pictures. Like Sandra and Deborah, do don't know, do that. I think now I think things that are done out of focus or things that are just done mm-hmm. work. I think people sitting on tables and strategizing on things. It Obsessive doesn't means. work. Yeah. Because if I tell you the story behind pictures, honestly, you would laugh. Okay, tell us about the pictures. Um, we are on lockdown at home. Remember, we would sit, we would sit not do anything. And as we are always on the road traveling all over Zimbabwe. So you don't even have time sometimes to, to repack, clean, what, what. So during COVID now, we had time. Because you just needed to keep yourself busy. Then I started to keep my suitcase on top of wardrobes to to see what's in this bag, what's there, what's she. Mm-hmm. And then I saw those clothes in, uh, <laughs> on my suitcases. Then I'm like, let me try this. Then it could just fit. Mm-hmm. And um, there was no one on the streets, remember. Mm-hmm. So then I called Puzzle. Then I'm like, I just want to do what? I should. My son was helping me. The twelve year old one. Even when we were going for those shoots, it was me and him. Hey. Then we just took the pictures. Like just taking no plan, no game plan, nothing. What you're going to do with the pictures. Just to have nice pictures that you hang at home. Mm-hmm. You know? And these old clothes that have been sitting in my suitcase for so long. And then uh, then the pictures started doing things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen to her. The yeah. pictures started doing pictures. things. Pictures tend to do that. They do things. Hmm? Our pictures did things. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah, yeah but they you're disturbing things. the peace. Hey, but you disturbed the peace. Eh? <laughs> because uh, my streets. We need like a slide. Social media streets. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the we social media streets shook uh, for a little bit. And then there were like certain comparisons with other ladies. Mm-hmm. Like um, whose waist is tinier. Who's got the biggest hips? Uh, who's got the biggest? Uh, Do you have the results? Yeah, the biggest <laughs> one. Do you have the results? Mm, they're all my Why you push the results in? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Miss Becky. Are the results in, Miss <laughs> Becky? Um, and and um, and then all of a sudden, boom! Now we send. And people were like, where has she been hiding all of that? Because we had forgotten about Sandra, right? Sandra had gone and she, she was living happily ever after. Whoever she was, and then you sh- she had to come back and disturb the peace. Then boom. Yes, mm. and you disturbed it. And then there were questions. And don't act like you didn't know that they were going to disturb you some know. sort of peace. <laughs> Sandra, okay, uh, please, Marco, there's a particular one. This one. Don't leave it out. This yes, one. that's the that's the that's <laughs> the Don't one. leave this one out. 
Mm. Don't leave this one out. Show it to the camera. Don't, but don't. But we need it. We need it full screen on there, right? We, like, we, we need it full screen. <laughs> yeah. So, Sandy, yes. I'm looking at this <coughs> picture. Ne? Mm-hmm. Let, me see, now, let me see that picture again. You want a word, Denny? Let me see that picture. All right. Let me see. <laughs> I'm double <laughs> again. Let me see. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Remember so that's, so that's wha- what were woman. you looking at here? <laughs> the dress, the, 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 the print of the dress. Do the pose again. Let's see. What, were you <laughs> <laughs> what is she looking at? <laughs> she, maybe, um, She's uh, looking uh, at her rear. No, she wasn't really looking at her rear. She was probably, she was saying, huh? What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what did Habi say about these pics? Like I said to you, could the dress, you, you saw everything. Nothing. Because was like everything just happened. Well. Everything just Babonise. When Zagala so fast. So <laughs> even when the photographer Ebuya, he'll be there. But now we didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we didn't see we saw nothing about so, the whole thing. So then what was happening in the DM? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know it wasn't <laughs> silent. Yeah. It was probably going down in T- the DM. Tell us about this DM. What was happening there? Yeah, it was it was something else. Because I'm taking it obviously. <laughs> the last time people heard about Sandra being married was on her wedding day, and yeah. then she doesn't post anything on social media about family. And but everything. you know, I think I was posting, but I think what I was posting was oh, no, it was it not good enough. It wasn't people. enough to put a stamp. You know? Would mm-hmm. you, a Mrs. You know, so and then you drop these. Crazy and I miss still, you see? Yes, obviously, you <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> you're still missus. And then I know who were in the DM. Yeah, I know people were not. saying, uh, I'm divorced and what, what. They come with the um, offers. The stories. No, others, <laughs> they even say, can I remove your ring and give you another one? Whoa. I'm a blessing. Yeah. Can I remove your ring and <laughs> yes. give you another one? Mm. Whoa. And, <clears> and, <throat> and, 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 and pay off and pay off. Okay. And and, and and that does the happy get to see this DM? You yes, the it, it does. It does sometimes. There's mm. one incident that happened um, some time ago at some place. Someone said it directly to his face. Then he joked that it's too late, mate. Oh, what, what, what did he say? <laughs> Someone what, said too late to his face. What did they say? They yeah. said, like, I want your wife? Uh-huh. No. Then I got too late, mate. <laughs> to <laughs> his face? Yes. This is such a. This is such a. But husband even the guys got man. guts, though. He's a lover, not a fighter. He's a lover. Uh, his weapons are his weapons. Shots. All right. That's fine. All right. I think I'm done for today. I think I'm done. That's fine. All right. So, Sandy, <laughs> the behind, is it real? <laughs> Do you want to feel what it? percentage? Yes, I want to. I want to. <laughs> what percentage? Look at me, so ready to feel. <laughs> Who's gonna feel what? I'm what? feeling. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, I'm doing it for. You, know, you want to confirm? <laughs> yes. You want to confirm I'm for the, the for the people? I mean, oh. I, w- I would have done it, but no. you know, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are the results? What are the, the results saying? What are the results? Hmm? Everything is real. The cushion is real. Oh, okay. oh you can wow. tell from yeah. the from the bounce. From so this wasn't from the finger bounce. This wasn't from the seven days in SA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just checking. It's fifteen years after, remember? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Becky has confirmed the authenticity yes, the of the bounce. Thank you, Miss Becky. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> you know I got you guys. Mm. You okay. know. So now we got that one out of the way. Yeah, yes. that was everywhere, right? Like, do you know, if you go back to the, my, my, my newspapers, those days when uh, uh, Moe was still alive and all, mm. there is a newspaper that spoke of my bum when it was still small. Mm-hmm. It had so potential. Yeah, it, 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 it was, it was bigger bigger like then that. again when it, I was a size six. But the, even there is this caption um, that I once went to Kwamtari. They say it in Diani Ane Kumbori ne power when it was me and my chest. Oh my gosh. Yes, what? <laughs> Diani so, Kumbori ne power. That was the what, caption. What does that mean? Like. Kumbo. Oh gosh, mm. Danny. Leg. What? Did you have crickets in the background? Something. <laughs> yeah, Don't, I yeah. You need to get here. Like. I used to have them. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, Becky's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, Becky. Okay, who won that one? 
I, I take it, Sandra? <laughs> of course it's Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's Sandra. <laughs> Even when that song, who did that song, Bizarre uh, Damtashi, what, what, what? No, there's a song called Sandra and Debele that was done by somebody. Not one. No. A lot. Oh. Hmm. I think three albums. Yo. Oh, snap. And how do you... <laughs> How <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> come no one is singing about me? Hello, I, I was good at oh. like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, what well, three well, albums? Are there, there are lots of songs? songs. A lot. Because I remember when that whole is a Tashi Gigi song. Pakabuda, like a couple of ladies, Ruveneko was one of them, and then Sandra and Debele was brought into the picture, and I was just like, oh. My gosh, they won't just leave this lady. There was no Becky there. No, I'm tiny. Oh. <laughs> Have you, did you see that? Becky. Did you see that? And all the while we thought Becky was pecking. You know, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just a shelf. Mm. But yeah, you're doing okay. You're doing, you're, you're, Thank you. You're bantam weight. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. You know, like in boxing. Yeah. Water weight. Ah, sure, water sure, water sure. weight. Nah. Nah. Uh, mm? You're doing okay. <laughs> You know, you're yeah. like, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, what's Mayweather? Mayweather is in what way? Sure, you can stop um, now. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not further. Not yeah, further. so she, you're like Mayweather and she's like Tyson. Sure. We're both champions, but. Yay. In different leagues. <laughs> different leagues. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell us. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let's go back uh, to your. Uh, let's talk about your social responsibility. You have a number of uh, organizations that you help out with. Tell us about. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. And what the hell is a Bauma Nomet? She she donated to Prince Margaret Rose Clinic. Mm -hmm. A Bowman whatever. I don't know how you even pronounce it. Ah, what is that? You, in in two thousand and three four, ah, she donated okay. something. I think I it's remember. like a blood it's pressure a, machine, right? Yes. It's, 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 a, it's our local clinic in Bulue. Yeah, Princess Margaret Rose mm -hmm. Clinic. So I bought that one. Um, okay. Usually when I perform or when I make money, yeah. I know some people, they tithe. I, mean, I, mm -hmm. I tithe as well, yeah. but I don't take my tithe to church. Nice. Yeah. What does dad say about that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I take that money and... And then um, you take it back to the it, community. Yes, I give it to the communities. Oh, that's dope. I used to think, like I was saying, that um, it's young women we are giving rabbits. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we use our money, I use my tithes to pay for those rabbits mm -hmm. and then give them to the young girls so that they are empowered. Because nice. I don't want them with rabbits, for example, ne can be driver just for a dollar. But yeah. at least if one is empowered, it's easier for them to mm -hmm. do things on their own. You don't trust these say. pastors. If you give them the tithe, they just chow the sheets. Um, doesn't go to the community. If, you have trust if, issues. if, if it was going you have trust to the issues. communities, right, mm -hmm. we wouldn't see mm -hmm. a lot of pastors with big houses. <coughs> Short. Yeah. <coughs> True. True. Mm -hmm. Amen, Sandy. Or oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Lamborghinis. Can I run in my business? Sure. But they still get the tithe, don't they? Mm. Where's the tithe supposed to go? To this, the people. this can be like a Pastor. whole new topic to the altogether. To but anyway. The pastors tell us it's supposed to go to them. Okay. So, yeah. So, you did that in 2003, and then you've done a whole lot of other... And then I formed... Um, I created a platform called Intombizam Kangala. Intombizam Kangala is not a, it's not a group. Okay. It's a platform where I, I empower young girls to be leaders in their own way. Mm -hmm. So I teach them to play the drum, to sing, to dance. So they do things that, that are done by boys, mm -hmm. but those things are done by girls. Right. So it's an all-female ensemble. Right. So when I do the lineup, it's all girls. That's the group that went to Dubai for the expo to perform. Nice. They went to England for the student International Student Drama Festival, and they came first for the International Oh, wow, Act. nice. So I take them from my locations mm -hmm. and empower them and make them see the world so that they they see more and they want more <coughs> instead of just being content in a location. Nice. And you've done a number of fundraisers for MSU, for schools in, in Matibele Land and so on. Yes. Tell us a bit about Not that only as well. in, in Matibele Land, even in here in Harare. Um, some years ago, I did a schools tour. Right. Yeah, I would perform in a school because, you know, 
those are our fans and they don't get to see us so someone was asking me yeah time had said you started singing in 2003 and it's 2022 how come <laughs> then i say to them guys the strategy was simple you the the the, the 40 year old people had seen me right mm-hmm. so how do i make the the 5 year old see me so because i did a lot of schools of school tours like, around schools in 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 uh, in zimbabwe this is why now the 23 year old are still my fans because they saw me at crossroad because i went to them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. so during that performing i would leave a percentage to the school okay so I'd fundraise for the own for the school and that kept you relevant yeah. and everything mm-hmm. nice You spoke a lot um it, it, according to what Danny was asking you of all the charity work that you've done and these young girls have you as a role model a mentor someone who's pushing them to to think bigger mm-hmm. who was it for you at the age of 16 to say no man there's more to life than this okay my uh, my aunties my my dad's sisters they got married when they were young in fact the other one she was she was like very good at school then she came to blueyo she got pregnant and the way they treated her at home and the things that were happening and from that time i said to myself i'm not going i'm not doing that route i'll see more so when we went to austria with ias it was my first time to go on a plane and see the world mm-hmm. so i would talk to people i would see how they lived and i said to myself in in i want to stay location I will change my life. I will. I got married at 27 when I didn't get married at uh, 16. You lived your uh, life. When I was even ready to say now if he doesn't want the baby, I can what? I can take I can care. take care of the baby. Cuz I changed my life, changed everything. I was now a landlord, I was now chichi, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goals. Yeah. yeah. So what are artists doing wrong in Zim? Um cloud. Ayo. <laughs> cloud. Oh yeah. Um and I think we 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 start behaving as if we've made it when we've got nothing. So it it becomes so difficult for anyone to then help you because they think you have it when you don't. That makes sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out. Yeah. Because tambara it no tambara shon. Mm. And again industry I do like oh for it yes a few benefit but a lot of them are not benefiting and uh because the cake is too small for everyone to to share which is our industry mm-hmm. so coming up with the creating more income streams like i think it's not even only in zimbabwe i would say so okay. even in america kwacho like the beyonce and the chichi it's it's them they are holding the industry but the younger ones they are not they're not there so it's the same <coughs> i think i th- i personally think so in south africa the the ambitious and the the what is the open mic they are the ones that are controlling now but before then until there was the kalawas the chichi mm-hmm. so But Don't I think we just cloud. need to work more and, and and maybe produce music that will be consumed not only by locals, music that will be consumed maybe internationally and maybe again to start creating brands that are not relevant only at home. Yeah. That are relevant <coughs> outside, outside outside Zimbabwe. Yeah. yeah. She, she makes a, she makes a good point. I think we we don't have um a lot of artists who have that crossover. Um, to be relevant in other markets apart from Zimbabweans, whether it's Zimbabweans in England, Zimbabweans mm-hmm. in South Africa, or Zimbabweans in Zimbabwe. We, we, we don't have a Ben Boy, you know, mm-hmm. somebody whose music is being played worldwide mm-hmm. or, or, or music that has that appeal. No, we don't. We have our heroes, but they are heroes to Zimbabweans. Yeah, not known you know? anywhere else. Yeah. So. I mean Jabra is to a certain extent has tried yeah. to push his brand mm-hmm. and and you do that with these collaborations that they do yeah yeah so that the other markets get to know about you yeah. and I noticed um of course you said you it was reported that in 2018 you rebranded mm-hmm. uh, let's talk about that rebrand mm-hmm. 
Have you changed your, st- your style of music from when you started? Um, of course, the, the, the clothing. I noticed there's a change of clothing now. You're a bit more, you're not that sandy that we fell in love with. So now we have to think about whether we are happy with this sandy. <laughs> we because we wanted the one with the round. She dances short little skirts. She doesn't do that no more. Mm. Tell us about the wee brand. Let's talk about that. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so when I, when I, when I rebranded, Really, it, was, it wasn't about wearing skin biscuits or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I don't know. I, I, when we go to Zimbabwe, sometimes they confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> because um, when I started singing, mm-hmm. they said I was half naked. If you call, you see on the newspapers, they would complain, she's half oh. naked. Who she's, was complaining? The, the people, the media, or the person who was writing the newspaper, let me put it that way. Well, yeah, he's got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> He, he was the one with issues. Yeah. We was, were no. we complaining when Sandy was wearing short skirts? Were we oh, complaining? Sh- who was complaining? Some reporter, some crazy reporter. Let's see that nigga. So they, they, were, they, were, they would say uh, she's wearing skin biscuits, she's half naked, she's gyrating, chi chi chi. And all those stories were, were all over, right? Mm. Now I'm dressing up, yeah, she's dressing up, <laughs> she's no longer doing this and this and this and this. But one thing that I respect, I think it's our culture in Zimbabwean people, we are so overprotective of what's ours. You know, like they will celebrate to see um, uh, Beyonce wearing the swimming costume, but they would say, when I wear the same swimming costume. Yes, true. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah, so yeah. I think it's us as a people, something that we are supposed to work on. And I always say we are fake conservative people in mm-hmm. Zimbabwe. We are not conservative at all. Mm-hmm. We are not. We are not conservative so, people. We like it out there, but then we want to pretend like, oh, no, my God. Mm-hmm. We can't do that. So how have people taken this rebrand? Um, so so what have the good, reviews been Because like? even the paycheck has gone up. and. Oh. Um, that's what matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if the I mean, if the if there's money <laughs> in the bank, I'll, I'll, I'll wear the because whole I, I think I think you want to have that appeal even for the corporates and stuff, mm. right? Yeah. Especially if you want to deal with corporates. There's yeah. a lot of um, people on social media mm. who cannot work with corporates today. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like Leah, like big following, big numbers, and everything. Corporate won't look at your page, and they're like, no. Yeah, it's sad though. But anyway, I see how you keep it clean. I try. Mm. <laughs> she does all I the, try. She she does, does all the right things. <laughs> I try. All right. So with the rebranding mm. uh, came also the um, um, the new album. You've done you've done a number of albums. Let's just talk about the last one. Um, I noticed you did a, a collaboration with My TT. You did a collaboration with Professor. I don't know who else you do. Tell us about that okay. album. Yeah, with Freeman okay. and... Okay, all those were singles. Mm. Yeah. And Khadija as well. Yes. Mm. They, they, they were singles. So um, the reason being now that with, the, with technology and social media, consumers of uh, content are too many, way, way too many. Mm-hmm. This is why um, those that have a lot of money, they release a song um, every second week of the month. Like I was following on Diamond Platinum's. Mm-hmm. Right my school project and i realized that he's got a song coming almost every week so in a month that means he can even release four songs okay so <coughs> by so doing you 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 are able to stay relevant especially in the market and with, with the way things are now mm-hmm. so that's what i was trying to do okay and um I didn't do like like <laughs> like diamond, but mm-hmm. I just did mm-hmm. my my part where right. I, where I could. And um, honestly, I'll tell you that things are changing. Right. Things are changing in relevancy in the market, mm. and uh, people wanting you to do more things. People asking, "Can we do a collab with you? Uh, oh, you're still there. Oh, you've worked with who and who? You know, because." Uh, when people send uh, or when people request for a red card, especially in the music business, they would say, um, send us your last project that you've done. Mm-hmm. Um, so for them to prove that you're a busy person, your project shouldn't be a month old. Right. You must have, like you must continuously. Old. Yeah. Oh, okay. And how's that hey. album doing? The singles. The last one. Oh, uh, the singles, yeah. The singles yeah. are oh, doing singles. so well. The album, well. I'm, the album, I'm launching it on the uh, second week of October. 
Okay. The, 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 uh, next month. So these singles are going to be on the album? Yes. What's the plan? Oh, okay. So you're dropping album. singles, singles, singles. Are you doing like a soft launch or... Yes, it's I'm doing a, l- a big launch. A big launch. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. She does a big. I work out when a soft launch being like Does she look online. small to you? Oh, no, oh my gosh. <laughs> I meant like online or is it going to be uh, like no, an audience? Live. Uh, live. live. Nice. Now, Andrew, you saw what my chest did. Yes. So, oh yeah. so are we going to shut coming. down Bulawayo again or Harare? Uh, I'll do both this time, coming back to Harare. So it's Bulawayo and Harare. Nice. nice. Are we invited? Yes, definitely. You just invited yourself. Why did she didn't invite us? This is like the type of people that came to your wedding, Sandy. You didn't invite them. <laughs> they just heard something the was still happening. Comes through. You can't wait to be invited. <laughs> yeah, I think she's got to go. Otherwise, she's going to miss her flight. Oh, Danny yeah, talks yeah. so much. Right? <laughs> All right. Danny okay. can talk. So, are we done? Oh, tell us about uh, Sandy Crafts. Are you still doing that? There was yes, you can go online my website where I'm selling my crafts. It's uh-huh. www.craftsars dot c o dot z w or www dot send is crafts dot com nice and so uh, those are the things that are handmade i make those by the way the beadwork oh yeah so it, i decided to commercialize it nice every time like i said mine is music business so when i go to perform i carry things to make money on the side so i'll have three or four paychecks nice pay show Pesho, <laughs> eh? the voices paying you your crafts Achishet. are paying you okay, nice. yeah nice. um she has so to go now yeah, she has to go. Um, do, yeah, well, okay. We Thank we asked so almost much. everything. Thank you very much for coming through, Sandy. Thank you so much for having um, me. Yes. When the album comes Please out, don't forget to follow me on all my. Yes, tell oh. us the handles. <laughs> Please tell us the handles. Sandra and Develle ZW. Everywhere. Yes, everywhere. Sandra and on my website www.sandrandevelle.com. Yes. Thank you so much, ladies for and gentlemen, coming through and thank you for authenticating certain things. Now we know. <laughs> yes. It's real. Sandra and Develle. <laughs> Becky K, are we done? Yes, we're done. <laughs> thank you, Sandra. We're thank out. You. Danny J Show. Song as we down to up to right things. Near that you taste a narrative, die cheat way. Can I'm chill out deep, is that deep, die pit way. Make you spill a bean if you know what I mean.